when, when they first told me that they were coming up and putting up a camp for 19 people, um, I had to chuckle. In TGR's history, we've been to a lot of classic heli zones in Alaska and of course found great riding there, but even those zones are becoming more crowded over time. Instead of being dictated by where there typically lodges, we decided to throw that idea out the window and put our camp, you know, right where we need to be. It's a portable lodge, a new adventure for TGR, and uh, it's been a lot of work, a lot of logistics going into it, but I think we're uh, gonna, it's gonna be pulled off pretty nicely. How big's your butt? How much, how big of a square does everybody get? Uh -huh. The spa, eucalyptus spa stuff, I think that's really important to keep the, uh, the lungs clear out there, and uh, some box wine. Uh, we're, we're done spending money. Last time I let you spend a clock. Load after load. I think we've been here four or five times now. Load gear! I love aircraft, man. These are my favorite planes. You can haul up to 2,400 pounds in here. I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so we could make it pretty much. I knew it was going to be a tight weight restriction. When we first even conceived this idea of camping. We didn't even imagine the logistics that were involved. I really thought the weather would probably become a factor at the camp. But once I hauled the camp in and saw that the extremes that they'd went to to make it nice and, and an all weather camp, it was incredible. extension cords, saws, screwdrivers, airplanes, helicopters, generators, snow machines, people, food. Everybody wants food. Beer, shotguns, everything that you could imagine. It was just amazing. What you have here is a standard loop. And you want to take your tail up, down. Now you can yank the crap out of it, see? You can just yank on it all day long. Things are a go. Uh, first athlete, Angel Collins, is coming in today before we uh, get everybody in here and actually shift gears and go go make a movie. So we're just tight and tight and wrap and wrap, and then you're wrapped. Your flight in from Anchorage, you know, to Kenai, and then <clears throat> from Kenai you hop in a beaver and you fly into fantasy camp, you know, you're landing on a frozen lake. This is not reality. Okay. Holy the next thing we're gonna have is a hot tub and... We have a sauna. We have a sauna. <laughs> Should've got more beer. I brought 120 wow. beers. It's like an episode of Cribs. <laughs> we have not only the sickest camp imaginable, but an entire mountain range of first descents to be had. Right at our doorstep. Your butt biscuit. Butt in, the butt insulator. I like it. So that, you know, when you come to Alaska, there's a ton of downtime. We have yet to ski. Okay, let's get the beer and the guns. I'm a Duluth, Minnesota Junior League ski champion. Should I belly crawl this shot or what? If it weren't for this, I think we'd all kill each other. So yeah. my way left. And if you don't like it, then... TGR. Always shredding the newest of the gnar. <laughs> that's, that's our goal. Find the new stuff.
Well, today was just another bluebird day here in paradise, and uh, we went out and made the best of it, just like we do every day.